Ano po sabi po ng Bible? Look at verse number 8. Okay? But now, ye also put off all this anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, watch, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. Ano yung old man? Corrupt. Therefore, take away all of those corruption. Amen. So that goes sa atin pong line up one to another. Amen. Amen. So that goes sa atin pong beseeching. Very careful po yun. No? Uh, let's be careful po doon. At yung 1 Corinthians 15.33 po, mga kinundem po ng Panginoon po yun, yung ano, evil communication, corrupt good manners. Look at 1 Peter chapter number 3. 1 Peter chapter number 3. Look at this truth. Verse number 10. The Bible says in verse number 10, watch, For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile. So, ang isang corrupt is, hindi na pure, may guile na po. Okay? Si, po, si Job never sinned even in his words, even in his speech. Ang Panginoong Jesus never sinned even in his speech. Even though kinukot siya siya at ginagan, uh, binabastos po siya at uh, uh, nire-revive po siya, lahat na lang ng mga kalukuhan ginagawa sa kanya, but he never speak a word that, that will condemn him. Okay? So, that's a communication na ingatan po natin that God wants to get rid. Okay? God wants us to get rid of, of that communication. Now, this very quickly mga kapatid, okay? So, I hope you get what's the point here. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Now, let's try to get at least five biblical principles of good communication. Okay? Five biblical principles of good communication. But having we, uh, while we are going there, mga kapatid, let's, let it be, this verse be our prayer. Look at Psalm 19. Look at Psalm 19. Okay? So these are biblical principles of good communication. Why will we will be discussing those five principles? Uh, let it be. This will be our prayer. Psalm 19, verse number 14. Psalm 19, verse number 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Hello. Napansin niyo po how words are connected with the meditation of the heart? Amen. So, our prayer is, while having, meron po tayong preaching, magpapakorek po tayo sa ating puso. I don't know how many lying, I don't know how many blasphemies, I don't know how many curse words you utter. Amen. This week's or in a previous lives, or how many times you used God in vain, or how many times you deceived others, or how many times we take advantage on others through our communication, through our speech, or through our words. But let it be, this will be our prayer this morning. Let the words of my mouth, Lord, and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Hello. So, how, how to help this problem? I know we have problem. This corrupt communication. And it's so tempting. Pag may nakaway sa atin. Uh, so tempting na. Ba, mag ano po. Mag, mag retaliate. Hello? I don't know mga kapatid if you experience this. For the past weeks, I am so tempted. I am holding myself. Okay? Because of the people that are telling you that you are liars and you are you are you are wolves and you are evil and all of those stuff. I am so tempted my old man wanting to uh, <coughs> But I remember you beseeching what I Amen. That includes myself. She says keep quiet, you know? Just keep quiet. Contain yourself. Just contain yourself. Let them do that. Let them do that. Just contain yourself. Kasi, kung nagkasala sila, bakit sabayan natin? Amen. Pampihira yung intention na yan, mga kapatid. Then, ano po yung biblical principles of good communication? Ano ang prayer natin? 
let ano po, the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Sino pong ipi-please natin? Wala na iba, Panginoon. Kaya, bakit tayo i-let no corrupt communication? Bakit tayo nag-bibisit ng ganito? Because we have a God to please. We have a Savior to adore. We have a Lord to glorify. Amen. Now watch. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 15. Okay, Proverbs chapter number 15. Pag Proverbs talaga, pag 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 pila na agad, no? Pag pila. Diyan ka na agad. Let's go to Proverbs 15. Okay, ano po yung mga biblical principles to have good communication? Proverbs 15, look at verse number 23. Okay? Ano, not 23, but 28. 28. The heart of the righteous, are you there? Amen. Study it to answer. Okay? Please insert it. Study it to answer. But the mouth of the wicked pour it out evil things. Okay? Yung, the heart of the righteous study it to answer. But the mouth of the wicked pour it out evil things. Let's go to chapter 29. Okay? Chapter 29, verse number 11. Chapter 29 of Proverbs, verse number 11. Ano po sabi po ng Bible? Verse number 11. A fool after it all his mind. I want to speak. Ano-ano yung sa Facebook nakalagay? Sige, sige, sige. Panata na itong Facebook, no? Ano nakalagay sa Facebook? What's in your mind? Kumakain ako ngayon. Nakalagay pa doon. Andito ako sa mall na yun. Nagbabasa ako ngayon. I'm with ganito ngayon. I'm ganito. Lahat nilang detalye ng iyong